Now locally, Hazmat crews uh, seem to have gained an upper hand on a dangerous situation down in the South Bay. Workers struggled all morning to stop a methane gas leak from an underground well. KTLA's Chip Yost is at the scene in Hawthorne with more for us this afternoon. Chip. Hi there. Let's set up where we're at for you. This is Imperial Highway right here. We're very close to where the 105 and the 405 come together. The area we're talking about where this leak was is right across the street. They have Imperial Highway shut down right now. We're going to bring in Captain Brian Jordan of the L.A. County Fire Department. As we do that, let's show you some video of what we're seeing. We're going to be seeing in this video, you're going to see some spouting, some water spouting, and there's some methane gas uh, inside that, right? Captain, can you explain to us kind of what we're seeing and, and how this all started? Correct. There's a water coming out, and this all started Thursday. Water was coming out of a well, the water's mixed with methane gas. The methane gas had flammability limits downwind, which en encompassed uh, two neighborhoods. So we evacuated both of those neighborhoods. Fast forward to today, uh, Golden State Water, who's actually the responsible party for the entire uh, incident, uh, has hired Boots and Coots Company that handles oil well disasters. Boots and Coots today developed a, a piping system connected to the well and have huge pumps, and they actually overcame the pressure of the water and methane coming out of the earth, and they pushed water back down the pipe which actually put the methane back down into the pipe. We have zero readings on the methane and no water coming out right now. So right now, again, zero readings. However, we have to maintain those readings for a certain period of time, Only, and, and then only after that, where we are comfortable that it's sealed, we can actually um, uh, allow the residents back in. But until then, the 37 residents, will, the 37 families, will remain evacuated. Okay, and what you're looking at right now, it's a live shot of where that leak was springing from. So do you have a, a time estimate of when you think those families might be allowed in? And, and uh, what do they have to do? You said you're doing different tests. Uh, how long do those tests take? It's a good question for the, for the time estimate. We've been here since Thursday. So right now that we have all the product down in the hole, we have to make sure it just doesn't come back out. So, again, that's going to be a decision made by Boots and Coots. Every incident like this, is it, it's unique. So we don't have a time frame on when we'll for sure be done. Any uh, Anybody hurt, anybody injured as a result of uh, inhaling any of these fumes? Or? Fortunately, the only thing that happened so far is uh, some people who may have been um, inconvenienced because of Imperial Highway being shutting down today since 9.15 in the morning and for an hour yesterday, and we actually shut down the 105 east and westbound, but nobody's been injured. Thank you very much, Captain, for coming out and explaining. So there's your live look over there. It looks like they at least have that leak done, but as you heard, uh, no word yet on when the evacuations will be lifted and everybody will be allowed back in. That's the latest from Hawthorne. I'm Chip Yost. We'll send it back to you.